Good morning children. Now you know about average. Can we find the total or the sum of elements if we know the average? Let us see how. As we saw in the story, Keshav's earning increased by the use of mobile phone for selling his fishes. Suppose Keshav earns an average of rupees 400 per day. Now, what is the total earnings in the month? Assuming there are 30 days in a month. So, we saw Keshav earned rupees 400 per day on an average. Now, if we need to find the total which he earned in a month which is equal to 30 days, then what do we need to do? We need to multiply 400 by 30. This way we will get the total amount he earned in a month which had 30 days. Multiplying we get 3 zeros and 3 fours are 12. So how much did he earn in 30 days? It is 12,000. So Keshav's total earning of the month is equal to rupees 12,000. Now, how to find the total? We know average equal to sum of all the elements divided by number of elements. Now, if we replace sum of all elements by total, then we write it as average equal to total by number of elements. Now, if we move number of elements to this side, which is the left side, then this denominator gets multiplied by the average. So, what do we get? Average multiplied by number of elements is equal to total. Thus, we can find the total if we know the average and the number of elements. Basically, it is the product of average and the number of elements. So, remember, total is equal to average multiplied by number of elements. Now, coming to next example, if the average score of the student was 72 and he attempted 6 subjects, then what is the total number of marks he got? We know average is equal to 72 here and the number of subjects he attempted was 6. So, average is equal to sum of the scores divided by 6 and the sum of scores would be 72 multiplied by 6. So, we know average in 6 subjects is 72. Now, how to get the total? Total is equal to average multiplied by number of elements. Here, the average is 72 and the number of elements is equal to 6 which is the total number of subjects which the student attempted. So, 6 is the number of elements and if we multiply it by the average we get the total which is equal to 432. So, the boy got a total of 432 marks in 6 subjects. This is how you calculate the total if you know the average and the number of elements. So, we see by multiplying the average with the number of elements which is 6 subjects here, we got the total which is 432 marks. That's all for now. Bye bye children.